Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn a very important software that we can use to create different kind of organizational charts, flow charts, gang charts, you name it. You can do this with this very software and you can start for free. That's the best part. And it is available for everyone, whether you are doing academics, maybe you're doing research work, or you are up to doing professional presentations. You can develop content using this very tool. So the tool that we're talking about is eDrawMax. Okay. You can access it by opening your browser, going anywhere within your Google, and you can just go ahead and search for eDrawMax just like so. And you can see it down here. eDrawMax, an all-in-one diagram maker and software. It does everything. It's an online platform. You can have the desktop version. It's available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. You can have the desktop version, and it's versatile in diagramming and can integrate 100% functionalities with all the libraries. It's an all-in-one platform. Whatever you do there's something for you whether you're an engineer trying to access different kind of building drawings or design drawings or you are doing chemical processing and writing or drawing organizational charts or process flow charts you'll be able to have things from templates to even starting from scratch so let's start by accessing the platform by coming to eDrawMarks.com and we can just click on this one and we brought in over here like I said, it is available for all of these platforms from Windows to Linux to even Mac operating system. So for this, I'm going to go with Mac operating system, which it has already identified that this, my product is Mac. And you can see down here, you can always come back and see the different details of what they have and how you can use this tool to be able to create different things. And the most important part is that now they have incorporated the AI powered diagramming resolution. We have the AI chart as well as the AI drawing where you can chat directly with the chatbot and it's going to generate different kind of drawings for you and you can as well analyze existing ones so it's an all-in-one platform with different kind of designs that you can create and you can work as a team you can collaborate and work in the same project drawing different kind of maps different kind of designs different kind of flow charts so it's really really wonderful so down here you have the option to start for free and this is for mac so you can download and start using it on your desktop you can just go ahead let's say click to start and it just involves two steps downloading and installing all right so right now you can see success installed we have logged in so you can come here this is welcome to eDrawMax. so we have this brief intro these are for you items which you can toggle or you can touch to see these are block diagrams with their respective sample this is flow charts and so on mind maps and you can click to go to the next one. These are libraries of different flowchart shapes that you can add in. And then you can always use this as your battleground. This is where you put in everything. And you can use these tools. Okay. These are editing tools that you can use on any elements that you will bring in from here into the canvas. And then lastly, once you're done, you can come over here and save and print and even export your documents from here. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Over here, you can attach anything for the basic. You can bring in any different kind of flowchart elements that you have. You can bring it in here. But before we go to into basic construction of flowcharts or any organizational charts or any drawing, let me introduce you to the basic things that you should look out for here. The home tab looks solemnly like that of Microsoft Word. If you have used that, you shouldn't have any problem accessing all this. These are basic elements like bolding, italizing, underlining, and text editing features, tools that you you can use and incorporate shapes and different kind of connector elements that you can connect and so on okay fill color line color these are very basic things that you can always use and then we have the insert feature you can insert page tables just like the way you do in your microsoft word the only thing here that is different is the templates you can work from templates of different types you have them of different types these are recommended templates of different types depending on the process whatever process you have mind maps or different kind of maps process flow charts you can have them over here you can have recently used ones or you can have personal templates okay and then you can have community selections basic ones like flow charts and mind maps like we've explained they are categorized into different 
kind of you can have engineering type floor plans electrical charts for your own building drawings industrial charts you can see them of different types it related business related and so on and if you have any specific one you can always search directly we have the search term over here you can search for any of the templates and you can use it directly so this is template you have different kind of images you can import images directly from any of these platforms or local pictures that you have on the system you have charts of different types you have hydro charts apache charts and so on you can see so many of them that you can easily import and you can easily attach and add it to the canvas and you can edit them accordingly and you have different kind of container charts shapes of different types you can bring in any shapes of your choice vector text formulas and so on different kind of features here and one of the key features i like about is the design feature you have this one click beauty that you can easily use to beautify your design that you have whatever design i'm going to show you how to use it in basic and you can have manual beautification of your designs that you have you can use different kind of beautification ideas from here coloration you can change background color picture color and so on so much to change and then we can add the view option just like in Microsoft Word. You can play from beginning from a current page. You can enable or disable the rulers and the grid lines. If you're interested, you can enable or disable any of them. And then over here, you have symbols of different types, okay, from text symbols, pencil tools, move and core, and so on. So many of them. And then you have the advanced feature where you can have the version history, file recovery. You can encrypt a file and put a password to it. And you can capture screen using this feature. You can capture any section. And now the most important part, which we're going to talk about at the end of this tutorial, which is the AI feature that's been attached to this very software. We have the AI chart as well as the AI drawing and many other different features that we can talk about. So that's to the top. To the side here, we have different kind of templates. Again, like you can click and have access to all of these templates and then you can have text of different types you can see you can have text of different types you have the text layout we can see them of different types if you're interested in moving or in using any of them you can see them and then you have the text design of different types as well you can see them you can just go ahead and use and then you have images you have range of images you can search for image directly depending on what you are creating from technology to background to architecture and city and stuff you can search directly or you can use pixabay most of them are from pixabay and then you have the icons that are different icons that you can use according to your creations as well stickers we have then so many of them and then we have charts like we've explained earlier we have series of charts that you can easily customize according to your liking and you have the widgets okay customizable you can have access to so many things from here all right so let's start and do something very simple so let's go back to to symbols and then let's start with the elements of flowcharts okay so usually on a flowchart you can have the start menu which is something like this we can have it here and let's say we bring it somewhere here and then as you bring in an element you can see all these editing features come up based on this element so you can do any other thing that you can think about you can add a text for example and call this point start and then you can click out but once you click an element you have these features you can bold things italize lot numbers sizing and the text style you have these basic things lines fill color and so on and then once you are on an element you'll be able to see this arrow that detects the direction that you'll be going so from here now what do you think is going to be next let's say we have this decision let's say we have this box and then from here again we have another box from here again maybe we go this way we can have a decision point from here and if the tcs we have another box it's also i talk about another process if this is no we can probably refer back to something okay and then you can have it continuously yes no we stop here or we can move on here and then probably we can end the flow chart at a given point here so you can add this and you can manually on your own connect them by just coming over here and then let's say from here the system is going to end so you can easily connect very easily okay so you can see our system is now finished so you can put in the details for example this is step one all right so let's say this is how the whole thing is this is a simple chart that we just created so one of the key things that i like about this software is that it has this design feature 
that contains this one click beauty that i talked about once you click on it you have this one click beauty and with just this one click you can see it has just beautify our creation and you can do that if you are not certain you can click again and it's going to give you another look of the beauty you can click again to have another look of the beauty you can see our chart is really popping out and making it very colorful and if you don't want this you can as well go on to the manual adjustment and change the beauty from here this one also gives you some fantastic look to your design you can see very easily you can just over over and be able to see different kind of designs making it very beautiful and you can have access to all of this and you'll be able to see which one of them i kind of like this one so we can even save the theme if we're interested so this is very easy to create now you can have the option to import different kind of images into this like i've explained you can import the image directly or you can add a background picture directly into this if you're interested or on your own you can bring in different templates if you have interest in a given design or any given templates that you want to work on you can just go ahead on your own and say insert and from insert you can come to template and you can be able to bring in any of the templates okay so you can go to let's say basic flow chart you can just go to basic flow chart and you can bring in any simple template that you have from here and they are editable you can edit them according to your content okay so you can see you just imported this also and you can select it and adjust everything and you can even use the design feature to use the one click beautification to beautify it one more time if you're interested okay so you can see you can do quite a lot of things with this creation and adjusting things is very easy you can just click and just adjust things directly you can have access to all of this and even more you can have mathematical operations superscript subscript and many more paragraph settings and so on you can always adjust this and delete things if you are not interested you can delete things very easily all right so this is basically how to construct or create a new flowchart let's go on and try to see how we can use the ai feature so like we said there are two ai tools for example we will have the ai chart which is this one and we have the ai drawing you can see them down here okay the ai chart as well as the ai draw okay you can see them over here each draw ai so let's start with the chart um, actually you can do a lot of things from here down here you can ask it you can converse it about a specific chart or you can ask it to draw a simple chart for you let me do that because i have asked chat gpt to help me just bring out a very simple chart that we can prompt this and then we can just have a chart okay so let's check this chat gpt okay so it has given me these five prompt because i'm using eDrawMax to draw some flowcharts can you give some suggestions of five different flowchart ideas and the prompt that i'm going to use to generate them so let's say we have these five so let's just use this simple one let's go back to eDraw and then let's try to chat it this create a simple process flowchart that shows the sequence of steps for customer order process includes steps such as order confirmation payment and order packaging and shipping okay so we can just hit on enter and let's see what it is going to give us so this is just the terms of the agreement we can accept this and then we can just go ahead and hit on enter and let's see what it is going to give us now mind you this is under diagramming so you can be able to see it is creating the content you can see what it is giving you creating a flow chart the details order and so on and you can see all the details down here this ai program you can click to have the other ones if you are doing list table mind map or flow chart you can just directly go ahead and select anyone that you are interested in so this is ai programming so if we select something like a flow chart so this is the process that it has given us so let's say we'll go with something like a flow chart and then we ask it the same question all right so let's see what it is going to give us and you can see it has just generated the flowchart for us fantastically you can see order placement order confirmation payment processing and order packaging shipping and so on this is starting this is the end and look at how colorful it has made the graph and you can select on any of the elements and you can enhance it if you're interested in enhancing and you can adjust or edit the content that's the best part you can edit the content however you want it you can create as many flowcharts as you want using this very tool and you can regenerate this if you don't want something like this you can regenerate very easily so this is e draw ai chat and let's have the ai draw which you can draw many things with it as well so you can click to have the ai draw 
All right, so this is it. We can do text to image or you can do image to image if you're interested. So depending on what you are creating, you can easily create your content from here, from symbols to stickers to landscape and portrait images and 2D and 3D, you can do that. Let's say we're going with something like 2D and I want it to create You can see this I want to mix it or that. So we should use this one to it one. Right, so it's not successfully, so we can click on this and you can see the image has just started. We can add it to this because here we talk about other placing, okay, of this post. Let's say we can take this to ship it out after receiving the product. So you can add anything and you can connect this also to, to the customer. Okay, so you can see we have a connector that just indirectly connect this to a customer. So you can play around with it depending on how creative you are. And then additionally, one more thing that I want to show you is that you can create the chart from adding media or adding different kind of files into this. You can upload a file and you can chat with it directly using this AI truck. So let's say I have a simple file that I have that talks about one simple process. I can just go ahead and upload it and then we can chat with it and see what we can create directly. Okay, I have this online order processing. So let's just click to open and let's say we have it inserted. Okay, you can see it's here uploaded. So can you a flow chart from this online order process in the attachment? Okay, so let's see whether it is going to truly utilize our attachment and draw the online order process that we have. It's very easy to do that. When you see wonderfully, you can see it has created a detailed flow chart of what we have just asked it to do. We can see very, very nice, very, very nice. You can see the details of it. All these steps are captured and it has even make it very much easy to understand. You can see wonderfully it has done it. So your flow chart has been created. You can regenerate again if you want and you can use the beautification in the design to beautify this. And even you can carry out flow chart analysis, flow chart detector, optimization and description. You can have flow chart description. This is one of the best part of this that I enjoy the most. It's going to give you the theme. It's going to give you the description of the flow chart and whatever you need as regards this. So it's very, very interesting. You can just go ahead and try. Okay, so let's say after our creation, we are very happy with what we have created and we just want to export our creations uh, for usage outside of this. We can come all the way up the top here. We can save this. If you're interested in saving, you can print it. If you're interested in printing, like it has explained to us, and then you can click on this to export this in different formats from the PNG, JPEG, PDF, a Word version. You can have Excel, PPT, SPG, and even it is compatible with visual and HTML very easily. So let's go with graphics and you can see what you are going to export. If it is export a range, you can export the current page, all pages, selected page, if you have a selected page or oh, all shapes on the current page you can export directly and you can specify the format as well from png down to tiff you can specify all this and then you can give it a name let's say we can call it chat okay so you can specify the location over here you can just directly specify where exactly do you want to save your creation and then you can say open to this and then all the way you can come down to specify this export quality and once you have everything done removing the grid lines of course and then you can just go ahead and say export and this is now going to export your project in jpeg if you have other features other formats you can as well export from those features Okay, so this basically concludes this simple tutorial on how to use eDrawMax to draw different kind of features, different kind of flowcharts, different kind of diagrams, and so much more. The exploration is there, it's endless, the opportunity is endless. Whatever you do, whether you're an engineer, whether you're a digital content creator, whether you're a researcher, doing PhD or master's or designing a presentation, you will have something for yourself from here. You can as well have access and do many, many things directly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you do. And please go ahead and explore and see how you can use this to your own advantage. The link will be in the description. So sincerely, thank you very much for watching up to this point, And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.